Hey, what's up? Long time no see. I know, I know, I know. I'm sorry. My name is Luca. Welcome if you don't know me yet. I sometimes do videos about life. I don't even know. Today, <laughs> we're gonna be talking about my age because that is something people get wrong all the time. Time. And it's really starting to piss me off like I'm not a child anymore. I freaking adult all the time Like I do my freaking dishes. I do laundry. I pay rent. I work. I like I even paid freaking taxes Like how much more adult can you get? <laughs> Sorry, sorry. Um, yeah, okay. So maybe before we start this video, I want you to guess if you don't know me or my age already, please guess in the comments below. How old do you think I am? Please, I'm, I'm not gonna be offended because I'm, I'm over that. <laughs> okay, I think I'm gonna have to tell a few anecdotes to get this Get this started. Oh yeah, so that was a good one. So I moved countries last year. See how adult I am, I move countries. So I moved from England to Germany. So because I was in a new place, I had to get a new phone number. Like any other normal person, I walked into the phone shop and I was like, excuse me, hey, can I please buy a SIM card? There were two people working in that shop and the guy I was talking to, he did not answer me. What he did was turn around look at his colleague and then he said hmm wait at what age do we sell sim cards again was it 16 or no was it 15 i'm not sure <laughs> thanks man we were off to a great start <laughs> a second later he comes up to me and he's like sorry so how old are you and me like in a really dead serious way i said 24 and he was just like wow Damn, you look young boy. When I was a young boy. See, the thing is, I'm not a young boy anymore. Seriously, this shit happens to me on a like weekly basis or really whenever I interact with strangers that don't know me already. Oh yeah, great, great one as well. I went, I went into a phone shop. Why is it always phones that fuck me over? Okay, it wasn't a phone shop, it was the Apple store. Anyways, my phone broke so I uh, was gonna go and buy a new phone as my Christmas present. So I go there and I say, hello, where can I buy a phone? You know what the shop assistant person said? So are you alone here? Like, yes. I didn't bring my mom and dad to make a new purchase if that's what you're asking for. My mom and dad live fucking 500 kilometers away. I'm not gonna bring them to the store. Of course, he obviously ID'd me as well. Like without my ID, I'd be freaking uh, lost. It's also always just, just great when I buy alcohol. Sometimes they actually don't ID me and then I feel like the fucking boss. Because in Germany you have to be 16 if you wanna buy wine and beer and then if you wanna buy like spirits, you have to be 18, but usually I just buy beer. And I guess sometimes I'm passing as 16. Oh wow, oh wow, 16, just, just great. I like to think that it's because of my confident impression that I make on people, but whatever but then also other times i do get id'd of course and just like that was like two days ago or something and i went with my friend to the supermarket because we were having like a dinner thing and i just bought some beers and then the woman ca cashier person um she asked me for id and then my friend just said oh you know he's only 12 and the woman she got so confused like obviously my friend was joking but then when i showed her my id she looked like on my picture at me at the date at my name and like back and forth like five times before she let me buy those beers. And then I went with my friends to a bar that was like a few weeks ago. And you know, normally when you're with a group of friends and they all look kind of older than you are, then they don't, they think that you belong in that age group. So they don't bother like IDing you, especially in bars. They never really ID you in bars. So all my friends went into that bar one by one. The security guard did not bother at all. Then me trying to walk into that bar, he's like, um, excuse me, can I see some ID, please? <laughs> Why me? Why always me? Okay, one more story. I went to get a hair haircut um, a couple of weeks ago, <laughs> and I was really glad that the hair cutting guy did not make any small talk, because small talk is fucking boring. In the end, he started asking me, like, what school I go to, like, what high school I go to and how old I am. I was like, fuck, I can't tell him my real age. Otherwise he's gonna be 
super confused. So I said 17, yeah, yeah. Dancing queen, young and sweet, only 17. And he was like, ah, oh, okay, 17 already, huh? Well, why don't you have a beard already? I don't know, man. I don't know. Yeah, so <laughs> those were some of the fun experiences I have in my day-to-day -day life. It's just great not being taken seriously. It's just just great. Like I didn't really plan on this video being such a rant. I think there's just a lot of like anger in me that I didn't know was there. But the thing is that I don't really have a valid reason to get mad at these people because like if I was in their position and I I saw me, you know, I think I was a super young guy as well. And like, I feel like very torn because part of me appreciates the fact that they do see me as a guy, but at the same time, it's like super frustrating because they think I'm like 10 years younger than I actually am. Because I feel like people treat me as a child and they don't um, take me seriously and all that shit. And Ah, ah. I guess in the end it doesn't really matter that much how strangers see me because what matters most to me is how my friends and the people I care about see me you know and they're really sweet and they always say like no you don't look like you're 15 you look so much older it's probably like a perceptual bias or something like that because they kind of know my age so they also think I look like my age but yeah I, I think I've talked enough for now <laughs> if you feel like it you can tell me some funny stories of like people miss miss age you, misperceiving your age. I think that shit happens to everyone. Maybe not as frequently as it does for me, but but it does happen. All right, I hope I'll see you soon. I'll try. Uh, bye!